Uh, new at 11, three months after a state commission stripped the Broward Sheriff's Office of an important accreditation. Tonight, the sheriff is moving fast to get it back. The timing is interesting. There is an election next year, and the suspended sheriff could get his old job back soon. CBS 4's Kerry Codd is live at BSO headquarters to explain what this could all mean. Kerry. Well, Rudy Bian Elliott, here's why accreditation is so important to law enforcement agencies. It is considered the gold standard, this state law enforcement accreditation. It allows an agency to show a community that it meets top professional standards. As you mentioned, BSO lost its accreditation earlier this year. But tonight, for the first time, Sheriff Gregory Tony is talking about this process and his commitment to try to get BSO re accredited much earlier than anticipated. After documented failures during the Parkland shooting and the shooting at Fort Lauderdale Hollywood International Airport, a state commission stripped BSO earlier this year of its coveted law enforcement accreditation. Broward Sheriff Gregory Tony said the effect on the agency was potent. It killed morale. Parkland and the airport shooting occurred while former Sheriff Scott Israel led BSO. New Sheriff Gregory Tony said the commission's decision motivated him to work even harder to fix previous mistakes. It's not something that you want to dismiss lightly. It's not something that you ever want to have revoked because it embarrasses the agency and it puts the agency in a point uh, where the confidence of both the state and the commission isn't there. So last week, Tony testified before the State Accreditation Commission and asked them to allow BSO to apply for reaccreditation about a year and a half earlier than expected. This is audio of the meeting. This entire state was embarrassed because of BSO, because of our agency's failure. And I've had to step in and absorb that. And I, I give you my word that we will not embarrass this organization. Tony said he pointed to specific changes like enhanced and increased active shooter training and training for school resource officers, the establishment of a real-time crime center, purchasing stop the bleed kits for Broward schools. We'll have state-of-the-art shooting facilities, classroom. And pushing forward on building a $34 million state-of-the-art regional training center. When you put all that information out there and document it and show that we've made these changes, it was kind of compelling for the commission to at least have me come up and consider uh, my testimony. Tony said accreditation helps BSO meet high quality professional standards, apply for grants, and be accountable to the community. It was the right thing to do for the morale of this agency and making sure that from a public safety standpoint, we would be uh, able to have access to the funding that may exist in the federal world and just quite frankly, you know, cleaning this place up. And that state commission agreed unanimously to evaluate BSO next year. Now, as we mentioned at the beginning, there is an election next year. This could have potential political impact. Obviously, with Sheriff Tony saying that he's going to run for sheriff, if he does, if the agency does get reaccredited, this would be a political coup for him. I asked him about that. He said this has nothing to do with politics. He said it's all about the agency and about doing what's best for the community. Live at BSO, Kerry Codd, CBS 4 News tonight. Kerry, thank you for that.